here we are. Father, we give you thanks. Father, we give you praise. Lord, we exalt and magnify your wonderful name. We thank you for such a time like this. We thank you for making it possible for us to gather this evening. Despite the wonderful weather, Father, we bless your name. Lord, in your presence, there is fullness, there is joy, there is liberty. Father, as we came here to your presence, we exalt you. We magnify you. Be thou exalted. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Okay, um, let's have uh, our brother Izu uh, lead us in uh, praise. Hallelujah. For the next uh, 20 minutes. Okay. Let somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. The way you are shouting this hallelujah is like we are hungry. Somebody shout a big hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at your neighbor, say neighbor, tonight is your own night. Though. Neighbor, tonight is your own night. Look at another neighbor, say neighbor, tonight is your own night. Are you ready to dance to the Lord? So we're going to sing some praise songs to the Lord and that will take worship in the time and not to us. Hallelujah. So on the sound of the instrument, we'll sing to the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's go down. Thank you so much, Lord Jesus. Thank you so much, Lord Jesus. Come on, let's go, everybody. Thank you so much, Lord Jesus. We thank you, we thank you.
by the anointing, Jesus breaks the yokes. By the Holy Ghost and power, just as the prophet says, I am a mother. This is the day of the latter rain. God is moving in his power again. I am a mother. By the anointing, Jesus breaks, breaks the yokes. It's not my power, it's not my power. It's not my might, it's not my might. Right. 
Jesus, do your work tonight. Fellowship International Literary Chapter. I thank us for making our time to come tonight despite the not too bright weather. The Lord God bless us in Jesus' name. Amen. My name is Anthony Chukwemeka Stephen. By the grace of God, the president of this chapter. Immediate right is Jude. He is the vice president of this party. Jude, you who is it? The gentleman on my very immediate left, I will introduce very soon at the appropriate time. And uh, seated also directly opposite me is Gibson Ebon, he is the membership chairman of this fellowship. I'd like to quickly ask if any one of us have a testimony between the last time we met and today, if there's anything God has done and then uh, you want us to be a part of this joy, can you signify? 
Ok, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The last meeting, I was supposed to be here, but I was not available. The president called me, but I was um, I was in last week. My very an uncle that's very very dear to me. I don't know what may happen. It is long somehow. I don't know. It just they told me they called me and we rushed him from Shadam to last week. Before getting to last week, we passed out, but you know, they tried, I was praying on my mind that God should revive me. But that very night, yeah, it was, though it was unconscious, but after a while, they, when the doctor and administered to him some meditation and dream and rest, they said he had a stroke. So they have to take him to the stroke unit. So that very night, around 20 a.m. or 2 a.m. So we made all the arrangements. That very night, that morning, then late around 3, 4 a.m. I got back, went back home to come and get that So the next day, I was there. The morning, we said, yeah, you have to run a series of tests, MRI, a lot of tests that cost about over 300,000, different set of tests. But, I mean, during that period that he was running that test, um, at the PT that got sent and last week, they even made a mistake. Because I didn't, they didn't even know that I had a post enlargement. But in, in that process, they were trying to, they, they, there was a test that they said they should, or you mean analysis or something like that. So the, the whoever made a mistake, maybe they, what, when they were putting the catheter, uh, the catheter in, that was a cut. So it was, when it was, anytime I want to eliminate, it was, blood was coming out seriously. That we have to suffer for blood, and we cut about seven pounds of blood, if I'm not mistaken. Seven pounds of blood. That I mean, that we, are, that we have to get donor again to donate blood and the rest. But as we are praying, as in with my, my and another, and another uncle of mine came around, they've been praying, we told, we, I mean, he told some pastors at MFA. But it was at the, uh, spoken for a week. Later, the man discovered that. They, just, they said he had a stroke, but he need, they now said it was no more stroke anymore. That is um, a, a prostrate alignment and kidney infection. So, in that point, we continue praying anyway, but they are still, they were, they were transferred to CCU. Um, well, I'm getting to CCU. The prayer has been on. Okay, you know that definitely, I just opened my mind that it will, at, at least it will come out alive. Okay. Whichever way, because I could, when I was in last week, in that stroke unit, about four people were without dead. And that got me panicking a lot. But thank God it was discharged on Wednesday Hallelujah. to call me the one who yes. And he's getting his recuperating now. So I uh, just got to perfect the new music in yes. Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Any other testimony in the house? Okay. Hallelujah. Praise God. Our God is good. I want to thank God. I want to bless the name of the Lord. My mom was not feeling fine two days ago. But before then, I've been having some visions and I've been praying for her. So when they told me she was feeling, the lady they took her to the hospital and said, after the school, they said that was typhoid and my lawyer has So they treated her. So when I called her today, she said, ah, I don't get to live I thank God. So I said, God has done this. May you receive all the praise in Jesus' name. I always want to thank God because yesterday we bought a new washing machine for yesterday. Hallelujah! Praise the Lord. Any other testimony in the house? Praise the Lord. I want to give this testimony forward. I have a couple of this evening um, when our chapter president called me around past almost to, to five. He said, Are you sure you are going to make it because I was the first time? I don't know the miracle that happened today, how I was able to break through here. I'm honest, I'm telling you, you can imagine coming for first time and the hold up. I, if I, when I came in, they were just, the men were praying here. That's when I came in. Father, I just want to thank God. And I want to thank God for just on Saturday, a week tomorrow. My parents had their 39 years wedding anniversary. So God has been good to us. He has blessed my family. He has kept us alive. And God has taken us from glory to glory. So join me, praise the Lord. Oh, yeah.
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let us give God a wave offering for those testimonies. Wonderful testimony. Uncle that had stroke, recuperating. Uh, mother that was ill, well, a new washing machine. And the parents, 35 years uh, wedding anniversary. There are so many weddings breaking up all over the place, even in Christian homes. But God has sustained the parents. And uh, we can see the results in the life of our brother. Good parenting. Father, we give you thanks. Lord, we praise you for these testimonies. Lord, testimonies will not cease in their lives. Testimonies will not cease in our own lives. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Let us stretch our hands towards the meal the Lord has provided for us this evening. And we eat and we are not in the mighty name of Jesus. Please can we serve the meals that us have our dinner. ourselves as eating and talking people because our meetings is always a meal function so while you're having your dinner please kindly give me your ears uh, because our time has been fast spent and uh, we need to round up as quick as possible after the main business of the day I want to quickly share the vision of this um, great fellowship. I want to quickly let us know who we are and why we are gathered here this evening. This is the meeting of the Full Gospel Business Fest Fellowship International, Itirero Chapter. The Full Gospel is a movement of laymen. What do I mean by laymen? It means men that are not called in the clergy vocation. Men that are going about their daily activities, going about their daily lifestyle, and then incorporating the service of our Lord Jesus Christ in it. The full gospel started 70 years ago in America, actually in uh, the city of Los Angeles in America. It started by a man called Demos Shakaraya. Shakaraya is uh, an Armenian, who was born in Armenia. But because of the genocide, the killing of Christians at that time in Armenia, his um, family, his parents were one of those who were able to escape alive out of Armenia and found themselves in Los Angeles and there Demoshakaraya was raised and so there came a time in his life he was a businessman he was a dairy farmer and the Lord gave a vision and that vision was the fact that men were not going to church so there was a task on Shakaraya on how men will be reconciled back to God. That is the mandate of this great fellowship, reconciling men back to God. And that was why the church was moved out of the conventional church walls into the public place. And that is the reason why we meet in public places. If you go to hotels, cafeterias, uh, places of uh, public attraction, places that can accommodate public gathering, you find out that there is a chapter or more of the full gospel 
meeting there. If you go to the Lagos Stratton Hotel, uh, you go to the Eco Hotel and Suits, and many other big hotels like that all over the city of Ni all over the nation of Nigeria, you find out that there's a chapter or more of the full gospel meeting there. In this venue alone we are meeting, there are about four different chapters meeting at different days of the week in this chapter. The full gospel is not a church. However, it is an embodiment of Christians from various denominations. In our fold, we have Catholics, we have uh, people from the Presbyterian, the Methodist, the Baptist, uh, the Anglican, the Pentecostal, name it. What qualifies you to be a member of this fold is that you are born again, you are spirit filled with the evidence of speaking in tongues or the desire to speak in tongues. We have our membership drawn from people from various professions. We have doctors, lawyers, engineers, artisans, traders in our midst. We also have our women. We refer to them as the ladies of the fellowship. They are also a part of this end time army to reconcile men back to God. We have great men in the society that are members of this school. We have gentlemen like Mazisa Ohabua, who is the chairman of Nimet Pharmacy Schools. We have people like uh, the Secretary to the Federal Government of Nigeria, Boss Mustafa. We have people like uh, Professor Patitomi and various great men who have been humbled and they are serving in this great fellowship. We gather together to share our testimonies, telling one another the goodness of God in our lives. We are known as the happiest people on earth. Ladies and gentlemen, I welcome us this evening to the meeting of the full gospel business ministry. As we are having our dinner, we have to go to the core uh, function of the day, testimony. We gather together like this. Tonight, God has prepared somebody that is going to share the testimony of his life with us. He may not be able to tell us the entire testimony, the entire story of his life, but by the leading of the Spirit, he will tell us those ones that will be quite impactful that can stir up our spirits. And we believe in that if the Lord could have done this in this wonderful gentleman, then all hopes for me, he could do the same. Tonight, um, the Lord has provided for us someone who is a, a servant of God. He is also a businessman. We are business people in this place. One of our criteria of being membership in this place is you have something doing. And when you find yourself where you are doing that thing in the marketplace, you are a representative of Christ Jesus in your business, in your trade. He is married to one female wife. In the full gospel, we lay emphasis on the kind of people we are married to. Because today, there are people married to the same sex. That is not encouraging the full gospel. Uh, and that marriage has produced four wonderful children. He's also a field representative of this great fellowship. A field representative is an officer of this fellowship who is in charge of some chapters put together that is supervising and overseeing. So it's a, a, a great responsibility. Ladies and gentlemen, this evening I help me to welcome uh, my field rep, Mr. Daniel Akutmogu. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I hope we're all encouraged. Yes, sir. After the praise worship and the worship, I felt like if we decide to leave, we have gotten everything. Yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It was awesome. Hallelujah. Isn't it? Yes, it was. The Lord is great. Hallelujah. Let us begin to exalt it. 
That was a little man who found him and all that is good. Wherever he is from, he is the eternal king of glory. He is the Alpha, he is the Omega. He is the Lord in whom there is no variableness. He does that which is good and unsearchably marvelous. His name is Jesus. Glorify him. Exalt him. Father, we give you thanks. Glory be to your holy name. For what you have already started doing. And even for the great and mighty things you are still going to do tonight. We say to you, forever be glorified. Hallowed be thy name. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I it has come a resting place not in divorce nor creed I have the name Of your glory. Amen. 
in the mighty name of Jesus. We came unpurified. We came not sanctified. But we shall live purified and sanctified for you and you alone. And we will never return back to Egypt. Be thou exalted. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Is the Lord good to anyone here? Yes, Lord. Is the Lord good? Yes. People, some people are looking for money to eat. You are buying a new washing machine. Isn't that glorious? It's powerful, sir. The Lord is great. All the time. Um, we don't have too much time, but we know. Within this short period, the Lord has perfected his children's life today. Amen. He has perfected every of his miracle for this meeting today. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Open your Bible to Genesis 18.14. Genesis 18.14. Anybody there? Genesis 18, verse 14. Yes, someone is there. Okay, read. Is anything too hard for the Lord? At the time appointed, I will return unto thee. According to the time of life. And Sarah shall have a son. Come again. Is anything too hard for the Lord? Is anything too hard for the Lord? Hold on. I want to answer. No, no, sir. Is anything too hard for the Lord? No, no, sir. Okay, go ahead. At the time appointed. At the time appointed. I will return unto thee. I will return unto thee. Amen. According to the time of life. According to the time of life. Who made that time? God. God. Yes, he made the time. Yes, sir. So, according to the time made by him. He has made a promise. Is it not God? Very correct. Good. You see, this testimony, uh, um, I, I want to, I want to just prepare our minds because most of when we give testimony, 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 it seems as if it, it belongs to some people. But there are certain things we really need to know the fundamentals because in psychology there's something we call cause and effect model. Cause and effect what model? Which means that something happened that made something to do what happened. Yes, sir. Okay? So, there is a cause. The consequence of the cause is an action. Isn't it? Yes, sir. You insulted me. I slapped you. Your insult is a cause. Isn't it? Yes, sir. The effect is the slap you received. So, when we talk about testimonies. Some people believe that maybe I have told everything, nothing is happening. No, 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 no. Is your heart prepared for a testimony? We have two insta examples in this picture we read. We have Abraham, we have the wife. So, as members of Full Gospel, are we exercising? the faith and authority of God in the life of Abraham as he practiced it or Sarah. It is who you behave like that determines the effect of what happens to you. If your faith is Abrahamic, you will be a testifier always. And if your faith conversely is in the mood of Sarah, you continue to doubt. Is there anything too hard for God to do? After all, the promise of Christ's birth lasted for 450 years. Okay? The birth of Isaac, after 25 years, 
So who are you? Every member of the full gospel must be Abrahamic in faith. That is a fertile ground for your testimonies. That is a fertile ground for miracles. You see, uh, 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 there is something we say, when, when you bring magnet, north and north pole, what happens? Okay. It rebels. South and north pole, That's it attracts. Are we living a life that attracts the miracle of God, or are we living a life that repels the miracle of God? You see, miracle, testimonies, blessings of God do not come by saying amen. Neither does it come by going to church or attending to programs or just coming here. It happens by the reason of the fertility of your heart in relationship to the Almighty Jehovah. Is somebody getting me? Yes, sir. Abraham, you shall give a son. You shall bear a son. Did Abraham ask God any question? But Sarah, wasn't Sarah the person asking the questions? Mm -hmm. She remembered her age. She remembered this one. She remembered that one. She remembered everything. Did Abraham remember anything? You see, the point is this. When God speaks, simply obey. During the time I was passing through my desert and wilderness experience, you know, to some people they pass through wilderness experience. To some people they pass through desert experience. But my own is a compendium of desert and, um, what do you call it? Bring all of them together. Yeah. In fact, they do what come together. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But interestingly, I passed through it as if nothing was happening. Because if you carry the thing put inside heart with that. You see, you can't change it all. You can't change anything. There is nothing you can do. You can see that maybe you talk like this, you make 500,000. You move like this, you one million in your account. And the time will come in your life. To even get that night of my car, you know? And you think it's a joke. It is not a joke. You cannot afford it. Your town is that your town. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I lived in a house, very beautiful place. And there I went. Beautiful house. My lord of the house, one compound like this, five buildings in one compound. This one, two buildings in the compound. So I lived with him. I lived in this one. He lives in beautiful house. But each time it rains, every vessel in my house will become busy. Rain draws from about 23 points. And this one, hey, Olympic swimming pool. One day it rained and rained and rained and rained and rained. The flood in my own house, from the parlor to the bedrooms to the passage to the kitchen to the store to the toilet, everywhere was beyond the socket. Every light in the whole house was off. I looked at the water, looked at the water, said, "How can I, how can I use this water to my advantage?" I called my wife, said, "It's time to swim." So now we have free swimming pool. This woman looked at her. If she could have slapped me that day, she would have given me a dirty slap. You know, women now, her heart to do everything done, the whole world is turning around. I decided to mess up the enemy. Say, baby, let's go and swim. So you want me to hold on it? So the right. So I should start crying, God forbid. So it was terrible. It was what that period, man. It is not, I mean, it, thank God it's a testimony. Yes, uh, thank God. Word. It goes to a period, I can't forget when my daughter was born. There was no money in the house. I went out because I was staying with, him with my wife's younger sister. I came back home only, with only 50 naira. What did I say? 50, 50 naira. A, a breastfeeding woman, we 
waiting for her husband since morning to eat. I came home and get dinner. Immediately I came in. My enemy show said, Baby, now only 15 euro. Oh. So he gave me the 15 euro. Oh. I gave her the 15 euro, she gave it to the sister. So go and buy Akara and the Gary. Oh. The sister went and bought Akara and the Gary. That was, we sold that Gary and that Akara. A breastfeeding woman. Praise the Lord. Every of my businesses went down. Everything went down. Before you know it, because the place was so bad, the landlord told the landlord, we need to live better. Where are you living to? If house rent is 1,500 naira per annum, I don't have it. If somebody could say, okay, come, come, pay me 1,500 for a year, I don't get that money. And the, I don't get that means that I don't get that. But one day, one day, who was a about one of my friends, Pastor Priest, made an arrangement for me to go and share with the was that anyway. So my cousin, he lives in three bedroom flat in Obosho, and the wife is in London. So Doctor, what do you do now? In this case, carry your family because we only do that time with my wife. Let me come take one room to my house. So two weeks before we left, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In my house. I have everything a man needs to have in the house. My base, I call my base ministerial base. Because I went to Westerns. You know Westerns? West I went to that place. They gave me a catalog. I chose base of my choice. Mahogany wood and uh, rock metal. They consulted with two beds for me. Beautiful beds. In the parlor, at least they set it, the air condition and the little in the kitchen, all those things. At least a bit of that before these things began. In the morning, I was I sat on the bed with my wife. We were praying. And I had a voice, clear, clear voice, called me by people, even a lemachi. Give up all your property. All. I stopped praying. I said, what is that? I said, I had a voice telling me that I should give out all my property. She said, that is the voice of God. Do that immediately. These are people who cannot afford. I can't buy one spoon as I'm time I'm talking to you. That was how we gave out everything we had. We gave everything out. And we left. Nothing again. We managed that place for nine months. My friend got a place for us. So we are. My son, my first son in America, did not sleep on the bed until six years. Unless they, that time they went to my wife's sister's place, then that is bed that they can sleep on the bed. But from my own house, my son did not sleep on the bed until he was six years. Because there was no bed. Even for we from, from no deal, no be from, from no deal. When everything was given out, the whole avenue to getting money now closed completely. Completely. No way to make a time. I can't forget the day. My wife went to Urushoki, my cousin's place. Small money entered my hand. My wife would go buy small chicken. Come take and cook food. Her sister goes in, said, Sister, so we can eat chicken again in this house. Uh, uh, I can't forget that statement. Sister, so we can eat chicken again in this house. So that tells you the depth of what we went through. And then we got to, left there after nine months, went to Ketu. When we got to Ketu, <laughs> as if thinking the road will open, <laughs> the road will close more, more. It got to a level where this, my son, was sick. 
I don't have one naira to buy paracetamol for you. My wife was sitting for her degree exam. To go to school, wahala. To go to school, wahala. That day, she went to school. She finished her degree exam. What would she do? The boy was sick. I was left alone in the house with this boy. Me, I don't know anything wrong. In the area of child care, and me, I know I'm the last. I'm the last of six. To me, I don't know anything in that area. I am zero there. I stayed with my son. The boy was sick. The boy was hot. And because there was no money, he was on napkin. And you know napkin itself generates heat. I don't know, say, he was not supposed to be on napkin. I lay by his side. Because in that house, nothing in the house. The two rocks in the two rooms were given to me by somebody. One person gave me the one in the, this room. Another person gave me the one in the other. I couldn't buy cotton. The windows are like this, no cotton. With slivers, no cotton. No cotton. The pot we were, the stove I used in that house was the stove of my neighbor. Now I'm sharing pot with somebody. The wife is in the east. His stove, his pot, was what I used in that house. Praise the Lord. This boy was sleeping. I lay by his side. I wasn't sleeping. I just saw his spirit leaving me. I saw the I was it going on, going on. Jesus! He came back. I jumped up. This boy's body was hot. For me, oh no, the way they do anything in that area. I just received word of knowledge. Remove the nap. I removed the nap. In less than two minutes, this boy stood up. In less than ten minutes, the boy started playing around. I'm sure the mother wrote, I don't know what she writes for examination that day. <laughs> By the time she came back home, Nenaka was gathering everywhere. The woman still still. Ah, image what happened? I said, I don't know, look at what happened. And that was how this boy was healed. From that time till today, Nenaka had never been sick again. <laughs> You just finish it there now. But I said, you can enter SS1. You have never been sick. And we were there, up and on, up and on. You get one letter today, tomorrow. You're not going to see her again. And then what happened? I was in. So we were in 72 chapter there. My president, the judge, said that, um, Brian. You, 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 you. Five of you. Five chapters. I hope somebody is listening. I hope somebody is listening. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Five chapters to be vetted. You know he's a multi Who knows Charles Chidi? Charles Chidi. Charles Chidi. You know him. Charles Chidi. He's a multi-millionaire. Very rich. He has the money to approve the chapters. Immediately, the form came to action. I was the only person left. He asked me, I said, Sam, to be a chapter president is a highly spiritual affair. And I am neither spiritually nor financially capable to be a chapter president. And he was angry. He wrote three chapters. We started attending all the three chapters. The other hand, helping the chapter presidents. At the time, I was never chairman of the chapter. Doing the work of tiger presidents in the chapter that there are presidents. Plus, my duty in the uh, um, Sunrise Retreat chapter. Yeah. To the extent that our children, only you, called me one day, that is enough. It goes to that level. I am not a chapter president. We will have a meeting in the Jewel in one of the, uh, the chapters. The chapter president will live with the wife and leave me in the place. I will be the person to get of everything. I was the one that the church today came in. So where's the president? He has gone. I want everything here. I can't go. I have to settle everything. You know what's the problem? What's the problem? Then you must be a chapter president that says, sir, I'm not yet qualified. Is there a thing? They called me. Then, 
I am on my way to South Korea. Before I come back to Nigeria, they will get a prayer for your chapter. I said, okay, sir. By the time you came back, you called and said, sir, I'm still married. <laughs> but the day came. The day came. The promise came. Ah, yeah. Praise the Lord. That time, yeah. God is good. All the time. One of my brothers, the guy that brought me to learn of his, his plate now, said, Pastor, send a text to me. Haggai 2, 18 and 19. That time in my house, no cheer now, nothing. In the night, every night my wife would use rubber, spray rubber on the floor. She became a manufacturer of pills. She would get my clothes, okay, fold them, put them inside shirt and button it. Don't be confused with that. Now she teach me that one. In the morning, she will button. Ah, it become my clothes again. <laughs> so when I come back, like this corner, this is the window, this corner, now there they go see that. I'm not getting anything for us. And there they sit down. So I can't even have my toy phone when I use that time. Open them to carry Bible. Make I open Haggai 2, 8, 18 and 19. Holy Spirit stop me at 8 and 9. Mm. Say, but I'm God am I. The Lord is not in charge of my family. The Lord of course. And I had God's clear. Take up the responsibility of becoming a chapter president. I closed the Bible. I didn't even go to 1819 and I closed the Bible. I bought my wife. I said, baby, look at the message. She said, that's all right. Let us pray. And we prayed. And I told God. Spiritually and the financial, the big rice and food gospel. I never buy carry for my family. Where would I get money to buy rice for the food gospel? And you said, I will be a chapter president. Accept it. Whatever you say, I will do. But I will never. Ask anybody for money to do your work. Whoever you call, you will be. I will never collect a dime from any human being to set up the chapter. And we prayed. I called you today the next day. After the meeting, says I want to see you. So let's go to my office. Went to his office. Yeah, now I am ready. So I hear. Don't want to tell you this. I hear you wasting time. Go, 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 go. Get the place. How much? Whatever you can cost, let me know. I said, okay, sir. I left, checked whatever it will cost, and sent it to the Holy Spirit. I didn't go to church today. Till tomorrow. I did everything, sent it to the person that called me. Man can never call you. My wife and we prayed. I moved out, got a place. The business that refused to come since. Oh God. I got some money, did everything. I didn't know that one person does not pay chapter in full gospel. I never knew. Nobody told me. Those ones, all of us went in the Greek I didn't know that one person. So I began to move throughout Antony village, bringing people, bringing people, bringing people. She was going, Tell me what is going on here. I'm walking, I will let you know. Until a day, okay. I went to him. I said, sir, the place is gotten. It has been paid for. Corner is done. Literature is paid for. Everything is saved. And the chapter will be opened on the 29th of November, 2009. Of when this chapter was painted. I gave him the date. The man, sit down. Say, sir, the Holy Spirit has done it. I, get it. I didn't know that I was not supposed to do all those things. So I was doing that. I didn't know I was not supposed to do it. I just went to do it, 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 among the two, only one person had entered full gospel meeting before. The remaining never knew about full gospel. And of all the chapters written by church today, the only surviving chapter today is Anthony Executive Chapter. Oh. Why? Because it was not founded by man. Hey. I am speaking to full gospel. Yes, sir, yes, sir. We are talking of miracle. There must be something that will attract a miracle in your life. It doesn't. 
Praise the Lord. Amen. And then, we were trying to, you know, handle the meetings, and I told them, this chapter is not meant that somebody will be bringing money for the repayment of the money and the food. Because she was assisting that time. But I said, these people don't know about the gospel. So if I tell them the meeting is an avenue to borrow money from them, I get quiet. One of them stood up. Why should we rely on anybody to take care of the child? Because I have spoken to the Holy Spirit to take over. They said, no, it's not supposed to be done. They took over. On their own. <laughs> but if they came, there was no money. And I've been saving my daughter's school fees, 10,000 naira, very low school. Very low school, 10,000 naira. I've been saving 10,000 naira for the school fees, and I've saved 5,500 naira. I came, no money for the meeting that day. I called my wife. I'm coming home now. I need 5,000 naira from that money for. Say for what? I said for full gospel. She released 5,000 naira from 5,500. We used it for the meeting that day. And when it was, when they were proceeding from school fees, I got, I didn't tell the man anything. When I got to school, the man looked at me and said, Don't bother. If it's 1,000 naira you have paid, I will not send you a lot of money. I didn't say anything. He spoke for me. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The man spoke for me. God will speak for us in Jesus. Amen. Amen. So from there, things started happening small, 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 small. And I was not planning to move. I didn't share that with somebody to pay. It's like training from here to Victoria Island. Please, under this condition, will you be thinking of getting a bigger place? Will you be thinking that? My friend Steve was leaving letters with the family. And he, he lives in three bedroom flat in Bangkok. He wanted a, any of his friends to come and take over. He does not need somebody else. So he told me, I said, nah, you know the situation as so though that one will be for me. I called one of my friends. Samson, he has some money. They're living in a very small part. His bedroom is like this. <laughs> so they overcome. Now you have money and your house is too small. In fact, since by four, the room will disappear. <laughs> so come and take the house. And then I'll be some button. How did I look at this man? He got angry. I didn't know it was God that made him to be angry. He got angry and left my office. I said, okay, Steve. Maybe Steve said, I don't want and that somebody has brought money. I don't want it. I want some one of you. I said, okay. I will get somebody else, one of us. So I got home. I told my wife the story. And my wife laughed. She said, that is our house. I, Job said to the wife, you spoke like one of those foolish words. So I felt that was her position. You are not able to pay for the flat you are sharing with somebody. You don't even have money to cook soup. And then you are telling me that 300,000 naira for them is for you. So if you are me, will you answer her? I didn't answer her. I kept my, I didn't, I don't answer her. Though. The next day I went to the office. Steve, my friend, always in my office, was talking about the Say, so, oh, that somebody is bothering me, he has money. So, look, you know what? Give me three days. Let me go and pray. Immediately, I had a voice. Why are you giving to others what belongs to you? I said, Steve, God has spoken as we are talking now. Give me three days, as I said. I go to him. my wife. I was afraid of telling her this to go that because of what she said yesterday. So I saw one guy said, baby, you know that thing where you talked yesterday? Look at what God said today. So let us enter three days and let us see the face of She said, no, you are not seeking the face of God. God has already spoken. Ask him where is the money. There. 
I said, okay. <laughs> so no prayers, no fasting. He has already he had spoken. Ask him, where is the one? My friend, you, his friend is the finance director in the office of SSG, SSG Alausa. His friend the university. And I asked him, your friend is such highly placed. Every day you call him, we tell you story, we don't have, we don't have one. Ask him to give you business. So he was not coming for So I think we went together to the master office. Before he could ask me what do you do, I don't tell him. I did do communication. I thought I don't have anything to say to him. You know a desperate man? Yes, sir. So, what do you say? Fumigation would have been good in here. Oh, mm. That we have the department here that does the fumigation for us. Sure. Sure. Oh, okay. Sure. Okay, let me begin another thing. My wife said, ask God where is the money. I pay my house so they look daily. That one not the same because my grandfather just told me it. And they look daily in there. God bless me. My palace are full right. Who oh God? Finance director, office of the SH. Daniel, where are you? I want you in my office now. I, I wish that there is Lufthansa that operates from K2 to I would have entered Lufthansa. Go ahead, sir. Go ahead. I called you immediately. The operator that should be in the office immediately. He said, okay, he's in the Kenya. So, okay, go. We meet there. We got there. And the man said, this is a story building. How much will it cost to fumigate this? I said 300,000 naira. And the man looked at me, 300,000 naira. I said, okay. So I called him. The next day, the man called me, come with your receipts, your inbox. Right? I don't know whether to run. Or to, you know when I see money last? You know when I see money last? Yeah. I call you. If you can fly, fly. You got there? I say, hey, Mr. Daniel, uh, give me a boy. I don't write a thing. Look at this. Bondos came out. Hey. See, it is a nice dream or actually. So what do you think you can come and do the sales and come in Saturday? I don't need to postpone this so that they will not oh. say that you bring the money back. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. If the next day, if they would have told all the workers don't come to them, I would have told them tomorrow. The next Saturday. And then the man asked me a question. I won't forget that question quickly. He said, Mr. Dan, what manner of prayer we are you praying? Uh. In the office, in the government office, anywhere, contracts are not given during election period. So people are not giving contracts in election period. That this job is the only job given within this period. And that communication was done on the day the election of the Governor Regis of Russia was done in Ingo State, his first time. That was the day we put that communication. That was how I paid the 100,000 naira. Because the balance, my friend has to pay the land date. Before he leaves, I paid that money. That was how I moved to Panama. Then <laughs> my, my sister, my wife's sisters, we are without them. We left them in Kitu. But we still have six moons. Praise the Lord. We now move to Panama because God has spoken. So I thought that when I get to Mangrove, the thing will now continue. When I go to Mangrove, the thing now closed. Is there anything like water? <laughs> is there anything like water? water? If there is something like water, it now became water. When we go to Mangrove, there the real challenge came. I thought the thing was over. I didn't know that. The last stage. What's my time? I didn't know the, the last stage was coming. My brethren, we stayed here, waited for business. It was like joke, like joke, like joke, like joke. 
One year passed. The money we paid, we lost. We go to a period when my children will go to school with the story or spaghetti when we cook last night. We go manage them. They will carry them to school. Carry the thing back home. Hungry. And there is no food at home for them to eat. Let your children. My wife, the degree holder, and God said, no work. Wait. Is it easy? Under this excruciating poverty, a woman watching her own children going hungry, nothing, and she has the ability to work. And you as a husband say, God say, wait. Is it easy for a woman to endure? And she waited. There was a day that became so bad that she said she must go and look for work. In one Indian company, in case I knew, oversight. Someone was talking to me. said, This thing you want to do, I go and try. She went there and came back and discovered that that place, they just use you as tall. Because she had the same spirit. And she came back and said, that's a lesson. And so we continue the great, the great, the great, the great things, you know. And I told God, in the house I did, down floor, ground floor, this tiny, tiny scorpion, you know them? Mm. Those very aggressive, wicked, tiny, tiny scorpions are always, they, they are our constant visitors. I told God, Father, I am not telling you to give me anything, though. No. I have my beds, beautiful ones. You say I should give, I give everything, I'm not complaining though. But I am asking you for two things. One, we don't have pay, we don't have food, we don't even have math. Math, we don't have math. I'm not joking. We don't have math. You know this terrazzo on the floor? The carpet here are torn. These children from their apart, they will fall, they will just, you know, you see them. I said, God. This scorpion is constant visitor. None of them should touch any member of my family. And number two, nobody should catch him only. Because it's easy for them to catch him only. You know that is always good. Say God, no pneumonia, and that thing will not touch anybody. No member of my family was touched. And my dear will stay, stay, stay. I know they said that they don't go to God behind me. Do not tell me. They are not sad. You know this is your system. When you go out, come through your heart. You know. So, I was there one day. I didn't go out. My language is sorry. She does not know me. She doesn't know me too well. And I don't know her too well. Lord But, the Holy Spirit at work. The woman said, Are you not the person living that? And I said, Yes, I am. So you don't want to pay me. The rent is going to pay me. I'm taking you to court. And you refuse to go to court. I said, me? She said, yes. I'm taking you to court. She said, nobody told you. Do you mean you are not good? She said, nobody told me. Nobody told me anything. I don't know. So I went to office and told my cousin, please survive. That's what I said in his heart. He said I should go and thank my landlady for giving me the information of the wicked acts she had done against me. That you don't fight level battle from outside. You understand that if I was thrown out, that I have no kids. But now I am inside, I can I have a kids. And if I'm outside, no kids. And that was how the case started. And I said, God, well, it's not my desire to be in my house after I'm going to court. That's not. But you told me to be here. You brought me here. He kept quiet. Me and my wife, we prayed and prayed and prayed. Every midnight we are crashing. Every midnight we are crying to God. God did not answer. One year pass, 300,000 naira on paid. This woman worry, 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 two years passed, 600,000 naira on paid. The woman went to court again. The other girl, she came back. What did she do? She resorted to spiritual matter. She manifested in several forms. She manifested as a python, dropping from the lake. She manifested as a monster. We'll be on the roof watching and 
day it came, I was praising God in the dream. I was in the power of praising God, praising God. She entered with her body that. It motivated me that the power of God came and hit her and she took off. And in the physical, she does not touch me. She will enter touch everywhere in the habit, she will never touch my God. So every time Jesus, 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 pray you know one period. Before you know in three, three years, God. Three, the third year they increased it to 32,000. Now 950,000. Everybody was telling me here. I said, my brothers, my sister, the problem is not to me. I don't even have 100 men to leave. How will I leave? This woman, this has belonged to her mother. Her two eldest brothers, who were supposed to be the agent of the mother, died mysteriously. Her two sons, supposed to take care again, died mysteriously. And the people living up belong to the family. When these children see her, they run inside and lock the door. No tenant, this is a two-story people, no tenant in the house talks to her. A day came, my wife came out and she saw my wife. You don't want to pay me, my wife said, man, don't want to pay you. God will help us to pay you. Say, which God? Which God? Which God? My wife said, God. The God I am serving will do it. So I was waiting for you. And moreover, who are you to talk when I'm talking? Don't you know I come from the waters? She know the hider. And my wife said, man, you came from the water. She said, yes. I, my husband, okay, my husband, my children, and I, we came from the almighty Jehovah who created the waters. <laughs> yes. The woman saw her. Yes. Yes. Who dare you? My wife said, I am a child of the most high God. This is a physical confrontation. Come physical. Yes. People that are watching, where she lady, don't you know this woman? I said, who is she? She is the one lady of this house. Thank you. But I have a God who is above all. I fear no fool. Yeah. I came from everywhere. You know this, you remember Shango, the rest of them. A night came. They came to my house on negotiation to negotiate. They got to that year. In the dream, they came for negotiation. There was nothing she didn't do. She went to call the third time. She lost. Now everybody, you must leave. I said, where am I living? My wife had a dream. We now left to Obadiyoro. And my wife said that God spoke to her that we should go back to that house immediately. I said, what? That was God told me. She said, I went and told my cousin. He said, look at what God said. I said, this is your God and when I get done. The <laughs> but this was what God said that we should go back to that house and stay there. My my, my brother said, Okay, we will see now. So, but of course, God, so we will see. Let me wrap up. In this house, God showed up. When LED bomb was started, well, since the fight for Golda again. Yes. Yeah. yeah, that poor place. Good. Chippy Tech. The guy is an engineer, the white engineer. Yeah. He began to manufacture the bomb in Nigeria. I began to sell the bomb. When people were buying bomb in June, I was selling one bomb in 2500 naira. And people were buying. None of you saw my stand. Two girls who were doing business in the National Theatre. National Theatre. Yes. Those who are doing a national to win, you guys have a national theater. The thing was moving. Moving, 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 moving. Moving. Like hot fire. White fire moving. Before you know it. One of the end that's small, 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 small. It's time to leave that house. We are going 950,000. Then I can beat my chest and say to the landlady, come to this house. Papa, 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 we're looking for house, we've got a house. 
will pay for the house. That house, 500,000 or that is 700,000 would have paid that time. Then I said for the landlady, I have paid for a house. I want to be come. Let us discuss the mode of payment for the 950,000. The woman refused to show up. Is somebody hearing me? My landlady refused to show up on day to day. I said to everybody, I am living you know, I don't want tomorrow they say, this is where the carry by to leave my house. They no pay. Now, dear I did, a young man, if you see his body, now pass out and that young man the chop. This young man came with the children of the family that, that, is, that stays last month. Say, I came with the children for you to be a member of this family. Say, I want to see you, sir. One thousand. We are talking. Say, the person here said, yes, sir. I'm not too poor in God. I said, yes, so, but I think, um, I said, don't bother. Your bill is 92,000. I said, yes. But I'll send for the landlady so that we can discuss. She will refuse to come. He said, don't bother. I am a man like you. When do you want to leave? I told him the date. He said, that date is too close. Is it convenient for you? Mm. I know the case is important. I will go to the court and tell them the case is convenient for you. And for the 950,000, please forget that it is written off. Hey. I was like, what? Say, the 950,000 naira you are owing is written off. And uh, if you still want to stay here until the government for you, let me know how long you want to stay. Don't be your one. Hmm. I will believe you. Any time it is convenient for you, you leave. And when you leave, lock the place, give the key to this to bring to you. Yeah. I was speechless. I said, don't worry. I am a man like you. I understand. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I pray for you. When I was calling him, he did not speak. Yes, sir. He did not show up. Yes, sir. As if we were abandoned. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And then I told my cousin, my helper. That God that said, He has done it. And then we moved to the new place we are now. That's how we are feeling now. And when we got here, we lift up. It's, you know the length of a, a building, yeah. but it's a duplex, long duplex. The woman that owns it built mansion in Lady and moved and blocked the entrance down to up, converted up as one flat, down one flat. So you know the size of three bedroom flats up, but it's not as large as that, but it's very special. special. So if you are in my bedroom, and eh? you can even call the person in the kitchen on phone. Because the length of a house, the whole length, is supposed to be two flats. You understand? And I can with it. Before you know it, the couple downstairs started having problems. Serious problems before the woman left the house. The woman said, they, they cannot stay alone. And they left. And my landlady said, Daniel, take over. take over the whole house. I said, I can't take over the whole house because they want to live in all and that's not able to, uh, you know, that kind of. So, Say, I don't want too many people in my. I have seen, I've seen your wife and your children. I like you people. Please stay there. I don't want Wahala. <laughs> We're trying to get tenants. No way. No way. One day, I was in the parlor with my wife and one of my brothers discussing, and God said, Take downstairs. I said, Now stop the story. Stop the story. Say what? Say, God said, I should, we should take over downstairs. Three of us went down, prayed for downstairs, and we moved into downstairs. And when we moved in there, you remember my wife does not have work. Charles Marco, who knows Charles Marco be here? Charles Marco be told me, we were in Abuja, and I said, He said, I have a message for you. See me in Lagos. Tell your wife. Tell your wife. Her ministry is in children and not to work in oil company or in the bank. Tell her her ministry is children ministry. I came and told my wife. You know, I can tell you, God said you should wait. Charles Margaret said, tell you. This is where your ministry is. Before you do it, and so school start. In that house. He said, okay, let's start from scratch. Yes, it was as so. at the time this major for school came, I don't have up to 20,000 naira in my account. When God gave us, told us to start. And what happened? I called one day to Chinas and she has a story. I said, Chinas, I want to start with the credit. 
She said, Kretsch, okay. But what am I saying here? Kretsch, KG1, KG2, Norge 1, Norge 2, Basic 1, Basic 2, Basic 3, Basic 4, Basic 5, Basic 6, start. If somebody had one Bahatish. If somebody had one Bahatish. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Start. But before this time, before we left that house, I was in a dream. I saw a book. I remember the book. Yes. When I woke, I didn't go to church that day. When I woke, never brought back immediately. I put on the television. And what did I hear? Oh, look at the preaching. It was that book. The I remember the name. In that dream, the man said to the lady, give him that book in the drawer. The man, the lady looked for the book everywhere in the drawer. She couldn't find it. The man took it. She didn't give him that book in the drawer. The lady will search and search and search. No book said, give him the book in the drawer. It was the book. The man did not move. Come with it. Can't you see this book? He didn't make it. He just took it like this. Give him the book in the drawer. More than four or five times again, he didn't see it. He see it. And I, I went to Mountain of Fire bookshop to look for the book. The book was nowhere to be found. But I had a very small book. It can read under five minutes. Finally, the man got the book for me. I read the book. Very small book. Moved by faith. It's a teaching of the book. And what happened? I moved in to study school. Two ladies were selling my book in Port Harcourt. On that one week, they met sales in millions. They were paying into my account on a daily basis. She now gave me a painter. She gave me a carpenter. She gave me everything. Everybody began to work. Summer coaching has ended though. Yes. Two weeks to open for the new session. Yeah, yeah. Schools have done um, um, summer coaching. Yeah. A new school should do some exercise people. Two weeks to open. Now in this thing, the deal, oh, under two weeks, we painted, we did everything, did the board, paid for everything. These flyers, you move around, sanitize people, and school resumed with just one boy in Greenwich. Under two weeks, we registered 25 books. Hey. Hey. My wife became a proprietor automatically, and that is what she is doing. Praise the Lord, somebody. Hallelujah. So, when we are saying Abraham's blessings are mine, what faith do we have? We must have the faith that must do whatsoever he says. That is the nucleus of testimony. That is the nucleus of miracle. There must be something in you that will move to provoke the activation of the miracle of God in your life. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So that is why we're here today. We have had it. Check yourself. Are you beautiful for it? Are you Sarah? Or are you Abraham? God said, Is there anything too hard for me to do? You will be Oh, God, can do it again. And again. And again. Hey, the same. As he always has been yesterday and today and forever the same. There's no reason to doubt God can do it again. I want you to open your mouth and begin to pray. Ask the mighty Jehovah to prepare your heart to be willing and able to live and to hear and to do accordingly. I told you I gave everything out that the Lord demanded. And when I moved into this new house,
I did not buy anything to Every electronics, everything, the cabin was open in the house. With just one check, I bought everything for the house. Is there anything too difficult for the Lord to do? Yeah, there are still challenges. There are still things to be done. Are you listening to him? In the midst of my challenges, I was driving the flower machine in Sudan, and the Lord said to me, Give that car to me. And that car was in the mechanic. I from the mechanic, I get that car out. That car did not enter my house again. God said this, and I get it out from there. My property again. The only car I had again. He said this. Are you willing to give? And the spirit of the Lord to prepare your heart today. You are there to yourself happening everywhere. But are you ready to do that with the Lord? Or big things to the word of the Lord is the beginning of miracle. It is the beginning of financial and spiritual practice. It is the beginning of supernatural uh, 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 establishment in your life. You will be a little great. Jesus. Father, we give you thanks. Take everything of glory for blessing. We thank you for the great things we have done. We thank you for the greater testimonies which are being shared upon everyone here, Lord. Give a testimony. Do that which is miraculous. Amen. You are the Lord that does that which is great and unsearchable about the Lord. Upon every life here. Upon this chapter, it's little chapter. Do that which is unsearchably marvelous and take all that glory. In Jesus' name, we pray. Wow. Wow. Yes. Wow. Praise the Lord. Let us stretch our hands towards the testifier. And we're going to ask the Lord God to refill him. He has emptied himself to us. At this time, he has encouraged us. He has spoken. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your servant. We thank you for every virtue. We thank you for using him to explore the deep things of the kingdom. Lord, we ask that every virtue that has done out of you, let that be a replenishment in the name of Jesus. Father, we ask that the word that you have committed into that to his hand, let that word find expression in the name of Jesus. Lord, we ask God in this world, may he not go down. May his strength con be, con be renewed day after day in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for in Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let us be seated, please. Okay, I call on Brother Isu to please uh, take the uh, offering, please. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is indeed good. And all the time, God is good. I believe we have our envelopes and uh, the procedure. Okay. Thank you so much, sir. So just package your offerings. Just package your offerings as you give us to the Lord for His goodness upon our lives. I overheard the speaker this evening while before we started when he was sharing his experience on how he, he entered the ring just to meet up his service. That shows that this man is dedicated to the business of God. And we've heard him testify of how he gave his car, his property, just for the work of God. And today God is blessing him. Have you ever seen a man who gives to God and he lacks? No. It's not possible. Find any man you know that is a giver. Can never see that person do that. Never find. Because that is an instruction. He's a prince. So tonight, just as we are packaged and offering, and if you know truly the Lord is speaking to you, say, my son, my daughter, that money, double it or do something. Please obey him. All you listen to, you heard him speak about obedience. Anything God just said to him, bah, he obeys. And that is what has brought his testimony. Can we just obey God? He has given you an instruction. 
and you are still doubting, please don't doubt. There's a reason why that instruction has come. Let us do this giving, and the Lord will do his own for us. And if you've done that, leave the offer envelope. Begin to speak to heaven in thanksgiving. Say, Lord, I thank you that I can give my offer. I give you praise. I thank you. I thank you. I begin to convert every blessings that have been released tonight. From the worship to the testimonies we've heard to the special message the Lord has given us tonight. Say, Lord, I convert them. It comes to me tonight. Every body is lifted. Every pain goes. As I begin to cheer up, my life receives greater testimony. I will not be put to shame. I will not be put to shame. I am going from glory to glory. Thank you, Father. Lord, we thank you for everyone that has obeyed you tonight. And everyone that is given in obedience and compliance of your word. I ask that in the name of Jesus, that our hands that are given will not stop giving. And you will keep blessing us to give more. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for all you've done. Be with us. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want you to imagine how it would have been if, because of the rain, we had postponed oh. this meeting. Oh. If we had called off this kind of meeting. Oh. If we had, because of the environment, called on this meeting, that is why I encourage you, no matter what you see, be dogged when it comes to the things of God. No matter the inconvenience, no matter the inconvenience, one of those things I would have loved to do was not to drive out because as I was moving in the rain, the car, the, 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 the rain was threatening my car. I was feeling, I was seeing some things that were not pleasant. I would have just decided, let me stay home, let me not get, have a breakdown in the rain. So please, when it concerns God, mm. inconvenience yourself for when God. It concerns God. Because no man can help you I hear, I hear that except God. Yes. I've been richly blessed tonight. I've been richly blessed tonight. I don't know if everyone of us sitting here is also feeling what I'm feeling. You know, there comes a time in the journey of your life when you ask God, now lead me. When you ask God, what have I done to you? But I think with the story of my brother here, you heard it all. Yes, no man is free of some questions you ask God. No matter how wealthy, no matter how highly placed in society you are, there are things that makes you look up to God. There are things God will never release everything to you. Because the moment God releases everything to you in life, you are no more human. And then, you can turn away from God. That is why you have some people, they don't see any reason why to serve God. So they have virtually everything or they think that they have everything. So when such people are hit, they go down. Because already they have made themselves enemies of God. I feel highly honored to be in this atmosphere tonight. And I want to believe that every word that has been said here will bear fruits in our lives. Because that is what the word is meant to do. Faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. In the traditional church, we read all through the Bible. In this place, we want to see the Bible of your life. And that is what my faith rep has played out tonight. The transcription 
of what is in the word of God in his life, the practical expression of it. There are things he said that I'm taking home tonight. And they will bear fruit in my life. And I pray they bear fruit in the lives of every one of us. In the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Time has been fast spent, so I need to really rush now. If this is your first time of attending a meeting of the Full Gospel Business Men's Fellowship, I'd like you to be upstanding. I would like to welcome you in a special way. Praise the Lord. Okay, I'd like you to please kindly tell us your name, tell us what to do, tell us uh, how you came to be with us tonight. Just quickly, in two minutes. Honestly, I just came from your house there. I didn't know that they were having a program with you. So, I'm still I'm a student. Um, let me just say I'm still with admission. I was given admission last year. I asked to talk about the reason for two reasons. So, probably next year I'll be teaching for the time. Alright, thank you very much. Thank you very much. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is David Benedict. Actually, I I came for his um, uh, counseling tomorrow program. I, when I made this meeting, I just feel relaxed. Okay? So I've been dry cleaning. So that's what I do. But I, I must say, I'm proud to be here. Praise the Lord. I'm really blessed. All right, thank you very much. Okay, in the full gospel, uh, like when I was sharing the before, that the the vision, I said one of our criteria is that you must be in the marketplace. You must have something doing. Okay, uh, you're a student. We welcome students to be a part of us, but you cannot be a, a member as such. But you are always welcome to come around. Uh, my my late wife joined as a student. Then I think as a copper, and then she invited me to this fold, and I've been in this fold for 16 years now. Okay, and for the gentleman, you are a dry cleaner, it means you have a trade, so that qualifies you to be a member of the full gospel. Yeah, okay, I want to ask you a question. Uh, furthermore, did you like what you saw here tonight? Okay, would you like to be a member of this great entire army? Okay, praise the Lord. Okay, we're going to give you a form. It's called an intent form. And then we're going to give you a magazine, uh, the Voice magazine. It has the story of men and the kind of great things that God has done in their lives, just like the story that uh, our brother uh, told us tonight. So I'd like you to go through that magazine. I'm going to give you the intent form to fill. Uh, you've been coming around, you've been knowing us better, we've been knowing you. We are bigger than what you see. This is just a chapter. We have uh, our bigger zone, and then we have the districts. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Okay. So, you are much more welcome. So, quickly to the announcements. Yeah. The ladies of the fellowship come on, the, on Saturday, August 13th, 2022. We'll be having a program at the uh, Sickle Cell Center opposite Lutz in Tiaraba. Yes. It's called Woman as God's Battle Axe. Mm. Woman as God's Battle yeah. Axe. Now, I have the tickets for that program. The ticket is going, to, it is going for 1,500 Naira. Yeah. Let this be a must to attend. You can get the tickets and also invite somebody. So you can get one, two, three tickets. So please, uh, I have the tickets and uh, we still keep announcing it and put it on the platform. And then call the... There is a, a head check, free head check for women. Yeah. Okay. Um, and your blood pressure and you should be free. And it's for free. Are you doing personal? Okay. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And then uh, I think on the last Sunday of this month, July, there's going to be a meeting 
with the district coordinator. Am I correct? Yes, Sunday, July 31st. July 31st. By 3 p.m. By 3 p.m. And that meeting is for every one of us. Everyone. Every one of us. I'll put it on the platform so we uh, keep reminding ourselves. Please, it's a very important meeting. Try and be a part of everything going on in the fellowship. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Okay. I want to give thanks to God for this um, wonderful meeting. This wonderful time with the Lord. It was quite fantastic. And uh, we look forward to the next uh, meeting, which is going to be the last Friday of this uh, month. The invites, notifications will be sent out. And please, when you are coming, don't come alone. Mm -hmm. Invite somebody who is hungry for Christ. Yeah. Invite somebody who needs to hear a story like this. Invite somebody who is giving up. So that that person will know that there is hope in Christ Jesus. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Okay, I want to thank you very much, sir. Uh, Mr. Daniel Akudlobi, my field rep for coming to bless us tonight. Thank you, sir. Uh, I want to believe uh, some other time you will also uh, come and bless us again. Yeah. Thank you very, very much. Thank you, sir. Very, very much. Let us be upstanding. I want to call on Mrs. Gracie before to please give us a closing prayer. We thank you this day because you exalt your name for all that we've had today. We ask that you give us the power, the strength to obey you completely Amen. and to live by your words in the name of Jesus. Amen. But as we go, let your strength go with us. Let your strength go with us Amen. in the name of Jesus. All that we do, Lord, from this day and forth, let it be to your glory Amen. in Jesus' name. We thank you for the speaker. We thank you for everything you've done in our lives. Be exalted for in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let us share the grace, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the spiritual gift of the Holy Spirit, rest and abide with us now and forevermore. And surely, God has a message to follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall be in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. 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 The fellowship and ten. Are we ready now? Okay, we we'll count. One, two, three. So. It is banner over us. It is love. His banner over us is love. Hallelujah. He has brought us into his banqueting hall. And his banner over us is love. It is love. It is love.